There is absolutely nothing more gripping to the British tabloids than a royal rivalry. That's most definitely the case when it comes to the wild rumors concerning the royal fab four. These are all the times William and Kate allegedly disapproved of Harry and Meghan. If you believe the tabloids, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship hit the ground running when it came to royal disapproval. Prince William apparently thought that his brother, who got engaged to Meghan in just 16 months, was moving way too fast. A so-called well-placed source told The Sun, William told his brother they knew nothing about Meghan's background, her intentions, what she was really like. I don't think that I would call it a whirlwind uh, in terms of our relationship. Obviously, there have been layers attached to how public it has become. Harry allegedly wasn't pleased about his brother's intervention, with the son's source revealing, Harry went mental. He accused his brother of trying to finish his romance before it had begun. The brother's relationship had not really recovered. Honestly, it's not really clear how Will thought that conversation would go. Harry and Meghan's love story might be the stuff of literal lifetime movies, but it's also unprecedented. It's not every day an American divorcee and outspoken feminist becomes part of the British monarchy, let alone after a blind date. Archie might even become the first British royal with dual US-UK citizenship, which has huge political implications. It's not surprising that Kate and Wills would urge Harry to proceed with caution. Kate Middleton achieved the incredible feat of emerging from the hospital like a Disney princess in heels and full makeup mere hours after giving birth to pose for photos. And she didn't just do it once, but on three occasions. That's some serious commitment to royal tradition. But Meghan seemingly didn't agree with the post-birth tradition of posing for photos, with a supposed friend of the Duchess telling Page Six, Meghan felt sorry for Kate Middleton. Harry and Meghan have taken a completely different approach to raising their kids, as one of the most public Public families in the world, the Sussexes have tried their best to maintain some sort of privacy. Unlike William and Kate, they did not take photos right after the child's birth. Even Archie's christening was kept largely under wraps, which was apparently a point of contention for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. According to Us Weekly, when it came to Harry and Meghan's decision to keep the baptism private, William and Kate weren't happy about it. An anonymous royal insider also claimed to Us Weekly, Will thinks his brother is going overboard keeping Archie out of the spotlight. Most of us imagine the festive season in the royal household to be a prim and proper affair where Christmas pudding is served on a silver platter, rather than slapped onto a paper plate after you've wrestled your cousin for the last piece. However, the royals allegedly have much more civilized arguments, especially when they're feuding with the Queen. In 2018, Meghan reportedly caused a small tiff between the Duchess of Cambridge and her grandmother-in-law. According to Life and Style, Kate was livid when the Queen invited Meghan's mother, Doria Raglan, to spend the holidays at Sandringham House. Kate's family has reportedly never been asked to spend the holidays with the Queen, and as a result, the Duchess has always been forced to shuffle her kids back and forth between the two families. An alleged royal insider told Life and Style, Kate accused the Queen of giving Meghan special treatment and sees this as a huge snub to her side of the family. She understands that most of Meghan's family is estranged from her, and that this was a kind gesture, but it still hasn't stopped her from thinking that Prince Harry's wife has got it easy. The tabloids have clung on to the idea of a feud between Kate and Meghan since the moment Harry went public with his relationship. It's the perfect storm of gossip. Two duchesses with wildly different public personas vying for a crown, or at least a chance to wear the crown jewels. As a result, we've heard about several probably made-up arguments between the pair, one of which involved Meghan's allegedly disgraceful behavior towards Kate's staff. According to the Royal Insider who spoke to The Sun, Meghan has very high standards and is used to working in a Hollywood environment. Presumably, this is meant to imply that Meghan is a diva, despite being the kind of royal who shuts her own car door. Somewhere along the line, Meghan was reportedly very rude to a member of Kate's team at Kensington Palace, and the Duchess of Cambridge issued a stern warning. She allegedly told the former Suits actress, according to The Sun source, that's unacceptable, they are my staff, and I speak to them. Who knows what the truth really is? Before Harry met Meghan, he was the royal family's resident PR nightmare. That wasn't just limited to the time he donned a Nazi uniform to a costume party either. In 2012, the former military man reportedly disappointed his older brother after tabloids caught him having a crazy night out in Las Vegas. I'm having parties every night. Oh dear. <laughs> One of the women who allegedly partied with Harry during his now infamous Vegas excursion opened up about the scandalous night to one of the tabloids. The pair reportedly played strip billiards along with some of Harry's friends before things got steamy. She reportedly told the mirror, We kissed. He was naked at the time and pretty open. It was a drunken fumble. It wasn't romantic, just fun. 
He was a gentleman, but he was so wasted. When you're a royal, what happens in Vegas stays in the tabloids. According to The Sun, William was said to be furious with Harry for getting caught on camera stripping in a Las Vegas hotel room. Probably let myself down, let my family down, let other people down. But at the end of the day, you know, I was, I was in a private area and I sh there should be a certain amount of pri privacy that one should expect. Wills and Harry have been known to poke fun at who's the most bold and argue about the washing up. Yes, apparently the royals occasionally do their own dishes, and William allegedly wasn't thrilled about Harry's lazy approach to chores when they were sharing a living space in the military. In a 2009 interview with the Associated Press, William and Harry opened up about the experience of living together and suggested that they wouldn't be doing it again. Of his younger brother, Prince William said, he does do a bit of the washing up, but then he leaves most of it in the sink. And then he comes back in the morning and I have to wash it up. It seems pretty clear which prince is the most domesticated. And we're hoping that Harry has since purchased a dishwasher, if only for Meghan Markle's sanity. In April 2018, the Queen appointed Prince Harry as a Commonwealth Youth Ambassador ahead of his wedding. This was a major honor considering 60% of the Commonwealth's 2.4 billion citizens are under the age of 29. Meghan proved to be a major support to Harry in the role and has since been named Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. I am also incredibly grateful that the woman that I am about to marry, Meghan, will be joining me in this work. However, not all the royals were happy about it. According to The Sun, Wills was a bit envious of his younger brother. He was reportedly hoping his grandmother would bestow him with the job instead, despite the fact that he'll one day be king. Per The Sun, Wills's nose was reportedly put out of joint when the queen gave the plum job to his brother instead of him. This allegedly caused Prince William to drag his feet anytime he had to do work for the Commonwealth. Though it should be noted that the Cambridges are frequently criticized for not doing enough, so take it with a grain of salt. Even if William does disapprove of his brother's appointment, he reportedly didn't try to get Harry fired from the job. According to The Sun, Wills let his brother hold on to the role because he didn't want to create any extra tension before Harry's wedding. As it seems, he'd rather seethe in silent anger if any of this even happened at all, that is. Working with family isn't easy. That goes for everyone, including the royals. In 2018, the Fab Four appeared for the first time on stage together to talk about their Royal Foundation charitable work, and it seemed like they hadn't yet smoothed out the kinks in their working relationships. During the discussion, Prince Harry and Prince William both admitted that the four sometimes clashed. As for what the arguments are about, Harry said... Healthy disagreement. Okay, the last thing you disagreed on, how do you resolve it? Uh, I can't remember, they come so thick and forth. <laughs> During the same appearance, Prince Harry reportedly said, according to The Express, we've got four different personalities and we've got the same passions to make a difference, but different opinions. I think those opinions work really, really well. Working as, as family does have its challenges. Of course it does. Everybody here, the fact that everyone's laughing means that everybody knows <laughs> exactly what it's like. If there really is this much tension between the four royals, it's hardly surprising that the Sussexes decided to split from William and Kate's charity in order to start their own. And apparently there was some serious drama behind the decision. A royal insider allegedly told Us Weekly of the split, Kensington Palace is painting this as a natural progression, but there was definitely issues with Meghan and Kate seeing eye to eye on how they wanted to run this charity. Instead of pushing for William and Kate's approval on finding some common ground, the Sussexes allegedly chose to jump ship. The charity has since been renamed the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, which may or may not be a snub depending on how you look at it. If the tabloids are to be believed, William and Kate are the masters of subtle clapback, and we're wondering if Meghan and Harry can see the shade from their private jet. In the summer of 2019, Harry was accused of taking a dig at the Cambridges by saying he'd only have a maximum of two children because of environmental concerns. As we all know, William and Kate are proud parents of three kids, so that sure sounds like a snub if we ever heard one. The Sussexes were later called hypocrites for their frequent use of private jets. ITV reported on one of Harry and Meghan's flights and said, it's believed the trip to Nice would have created seven times more carbon emissions per person than a commercial flight. However, when quizzed about his private jet usage, Harry claimed he occasionally had to fly that way to keep his family safe. Occasionally there needs to be an opportunity based on a unique circumstance um, to, to ensure that my family uh, are safe. However, it seems like the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge don't exactly share the same point of view. A source allegedly told Daily Beast, William and Kate always fly budget whenever possible, when they are flying on personal and private trips. The basic reason for that is very simple. It's because they have to pay for their own flights if it's a private trip and they don't like wasting money.
It's already been established that the long-running feud between Kate and Meghan might actually be a feud between William and Harry. But nonetheless, the two duchesses don't always see eye to eye. Kate almost always follows along with the royal tradition, or at least does her best to follow in the footsteps of her mother-in-law, Princess Diana. She does, after all, have Diana's engagement ring. It's a family ring, yes. It's my mother's engagement ring. In 2016, Kate ended up carrying Diana's Vogue torch when she appeared on the cover of the UK edition, an honor Diana achieved four times throughout the 80s and 90s. According to the Business Insider, Kate's 10-page spread was the only magazine shoot she'd ever done. Unlike her sister-in-law, Meghan turned down the opportunity to be a Vogue cover girl. The magazine's editor-in-chief, Edward Ennefel, wrote in the issue, From the very beginning, we talked about the cover, whether she'd be on it or not. In the end, she felt like it would be, in some ways, a boastful thing to do for this particular project. She wanted, instead, to focus on the women she admires. As the first ever guest editor of the British Vogue September issue, Meghan chose to feature 15 influential women. None of these women were her royal sister-in-law, Kate Middleton. Is that really just a coincidence? Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.